What is good guys? Welcome back to Water Dragon. Today we're going to be doing a collab what if video with Fofo Sukiyomi and my best friend Mimba Soji. Us three are going to be talking about what would happen if Hitoshi Sai went to FC Barchet and was in the new Egoist League. I'm going to be going over his skill set and Fofo Sukiyomi will be talking about why it, Sai would do good at Barcha and Mimba Soji will be talking about why he would do bad at, at Barcha. So be sure to stay tuned for all three of these parts. But before we get into this video, I'm going to take this moment to tell you guys to make sure if you're subscribed to me. Currently, we're at around 600 sub subscribers. So we finally got our goal of about 500 and we're doing an editing competition to celebrate that. Check my community posts if you want more information about that. But without any further ado, on with the video. Before we talk about how Itoshi Sai would do at Barcha, I'm going to give a brief overview of all his skills and weapons that we've seen up to this point. One of his main weapons in the U20 match was his dribbling. From the moment that Aiku gave him the ball, he showed a lot of dribbling feats, being able to go past almost the entire U2, the entire Blue Lock team in the end stages of the game, uh, almost dribbling past Berserker Rin, easily going in between Isagi and Bachira for attacks, and Isagi literally says he's too good. And we also saw feats from him from before, back when Rin challenged him. He easily nutmeg past him and scored the goal, and he did it again in the U20 game, telling Rin coldly that he'll never be able to surpass him. And then Isagi is saying, a nutmeg cross elastico. He also has one of the best passing, if not the best passing in Bulak so far. The only ones that could come close Probably Charles, Hiori, and Lorenzo. And besides Charles, I'd say he's number one or number two. He easily got through the gap between all the players and almost always saw exactly where to pass. Using this, his, uh, he has one of the best kicking abilities in all of Blue Lock. He also made a direct pass straight to Shido right where he needed it. Even Shiguri said, it's barely a few centimeters in front of my maximum reach. That, and he's questioning whether Itoshi Sai, how he actually aimed for that. And then Shido scored the dragon drive with that pass. He also has a pretty decent scoring ability, getting a goal from this angle, which not even Rin could do at the time. Rin could probably score it now, but that still shows that he has a very high scoring ability. Definitely not at the level of like Kaiser or Baro, but he still has a pretty potent shooting ability. A lot to go on along with his dribbling and passing. He also is depicted to have metavision, seeing as he outsmarted Karasu's uh, triple joint attack with Otoya and Chigri, and later on dominating Isagi in one of his attacks. First up, Isagi planned to give it to Nagi, trying to make him pass to him, and after Nagi gave the pass, he had a one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, but only one man could predict his moments. It wasn't Oliver Aiku, it wasn't Itoshi Rin, it was the prodigy, prodigy, Itoshi Sai. He says, I'm surprised that Blue Lock's heart is you, number 11. And then he finds a way to negate Isigi's weapon, throwing off his balance, and he says, again, Sai Itoshi. So before I send it off to Fofo Sukiyomi to talk about why Itoshi Sai would succeed at Barcha, I'm going to give all of you a short explanation about how FC Barcha functions and their style of football. So their master striker is Lavinio, who's the top scorer in his league, and he's the extravagant genius dribbler from Brazil. They call him Dance Man Lavinio. The two main blue lockers to go to FC Barcha were Otoya and Bachira, and one of the reasons I felt like it would be interesting if Hitoshi Sai went to FC Barcha is because FC Barcha lack a lot of talent, and if they had Hitoshi Sai, then they would be on par of teams like Bastard Munchen, Ubers, and PXG, because right now, they're a little bit lackluster outside of Bachira, and if Hitoshi Sai was on that team, the games would be a lot more interesting. It would be very interesting to see how Sai compares with Lorenzo and Kaiser in the new Gen 11 category. So, Lavinio talks about how his dribbling and his originality starts here, and that at first it's okay to copy the best players in the world, but then you need to start mixing in your own stuff in and create an image of what the world's best looks like. 
And then Bachira, the man he is, steals the ball from his master striker, Lavinia, without even knowing him. But luckily, he was... Mm, he wasn't very and he wasn't enraged about it and actually said you got it then told Bachir to form his own unique image he showed all of the blue lockers and everyone else in the spain facility about his visualization which he says is a butterfly then he just dances out what his idea of the world's best is and performs some of the best dribbling tricks we've seen in blue lock but then he talks about how never forget the right tier originality. And then we have Bachira who's thinking about everything. And then he tells him that he needs to take the monster, Bachira's monster, which is one of the most famous like things in Blue Lock, basically. And he tells him to ev evolve the monster to the next stage. Bachira and Otoya both made the starting lineup. And currently Bachira is one of the aces of... FC Barcher, so it would be very interesting to see Itoshi Sai giving him passes. Fofo Sukiyomi is going to talk more about uh, Bachir's feats and how he would go with Itoshi Sai, but I'm just here for a quick overview. He also did end up scoring a goal in Bastard Munchen, and Isagi was watching him very closely. And he was actually made the first goal of the Neo Egos League and also got a goal against Ubers and uh, maybe a goal against PXG. The author hasn't confirmed or denied, but his salary did go up by a decent amount, so he either scored or assisted in that match. But he has two confirmed goals and maybe a third as well. I'm about to be presenting the good parts about Itoshi Sei. So when Sei comes to Barcha, he's not gonna give a damn. He's not gonna be surprised about the whole environment because he already plays for La Real. Um, he would already be good when it comes to the formality as he is very creative as he is the most creative midfielder we've seen other than Hiro Yo and Charles. We also know that he has insane crazy techniques with Alasco dribbles, Alasco nutmegs, um, Trivella, Rabona nutmegs, and so much more in his arsenal that I would take a whole day to talk about. Um, for Say, he would actually be one of the best players to go to Barcha because he doesn't like people to teach him stuff. He's a self-learned person, which would actually be good for Barcha because it's about originality and Nabino, their coach, won't be teaching them anything. And literally, Ginda, the way Bachra performed it is controlled reactive dribbling. And the way Say was dribbling against the Blue Lock team, it is reactive controlled dribbling. Like he will make the defenders be anticipating all your moves and it will be very unpredictable and he'll just get past you, which is how Bachua was playing. So I feel like he would really um, excel with Bachua because they would both be doing it. I would feel like he would make a chemical reaction with Otoya more than Bachua because I feel like Bachua would try to do his own thing. Meanwhile, Otoya is the one who gets in the shadows and always bees a, bees a good shadow striker. And say when he passed it to Cho or Kento, I forgot the guy's name, he said that he will always feed the person in the right position. So I feel like Otoya would be the one finding the right positions to strike from one shot only. So I feel like Otoya would benefit a lot from Say being there. Say wouldn't learn anything from being an FC bar child, if I'm going to be honest. He would just be using his experience and his strength to just enhance everyone else. He would use MetaVision to create the best plays. And with um, people understanding more of his MetaVision and you know the scene where they talk about only idiots can follow me to the next scenery. I feel like Bachu and Otoya could follow him to the next level. The U20 original Japan members would do good under Sei as Sei could command them on what to do because they've already been under Sei, so Sei could at least trust them a little bit. The um, chemistry between him and the whole team would be either really bad or just meh. I do not see him getting along with anyone, but I could just see him like mutually being able to help them. In terms of how well they were doing the NEL, is the last thing I'm going to talk about, is I feel like they would win their first match against Bastard Munchen as Say would destroy Bastard Munchen unless Ness or Kaiser tried to do anything to stop it. Um, against Ubers, I could still see them losing as Lorenzo's better than Say. Unless Say and Lorenzo both have really good teams or really bad teams, then Say would excel against them. Then you also have the fact that 
they have to face PXG and that game, I could still see PXG winning as I feel like PXG is too dominant. And then the last game against Manchine, they definitely win. So Say would help them win two games. Anything else he could help them with? I feel like he would be a better teacher than Lavino. If someone really inspired him, like Shido, he would want to actually understand them more and create tactics with them. And like, you, you know the play where he got Shido the first goal in the match to make it 2-2? I feel like Say would just give like little hints of instructions on how they can get better and they would excel. So I feel like having Say as a second type of teacher or someone experienced would really help the team morale. So is this a good thing for Say? Not really, but for the team overall, I feel like this is a good idea to have Say as Say would bring some much needed organization and coordination to this team and experience as well because Say is already used to the Spain environment. So he would be basically really good at it. Striker and a good midfielder, but I don't think he's fit for Barcha. First of all, let's go over Say's mindset. He saw one Spanish striker and left the league to play with Japanese high schoolers. Are you kidding me? Is that the type of mindset that's going to be in Barcha? No. All joke aside, Say doesn't take pressure easily. So what this means is that if anyone dominates in his field, he's going to, instead of adapting to it like our main protagonists, he's just going to quit, which isn't a good mindset to have anywhere. Another thing is, Say just doesn't play like FC Barcha. FC players in FC Barcha play flashy. For example, look at Batra. When he's in a bad position, what does he do? He doesn't pass to his teammates like someone like Say would. He rushes, he dribbles, he puts on a show for the audience. And I don't think Say could put on a show for the audience. That's the biggest problem. Just look at everyone in FC Barcha. They put on a show for the audience. Uh, while Say doesn't have bad dribbling, his dribbling isn't the style that FC Barcha would want him to have. Itoshi Sen has also been heavily power crept and has no more feats that we can base him off on. These high schoolers that he, he went high diff on got absolutely demolished by pros, but now in the manga, they go toe to toe with the pros. They aren't on the pros level, I'm not saying that, I'm just saying they regularly play with the pros which leads me to believe that Sei isn't even that relevant in the manga as of now. He could make a comeback, but from the feats that we have, and from what we've been shown, he isn't that good. An example is when Isugi with early meta vision blocked Chris Prince to knuckleball. Isugi has gotten much stronger than that. I don't think Sei is relevant right now, unless we see some major feats or showings of his true skills. So think about it for a second. Hitoshi Sei went high diff with high schoolers who couldn't even contend with professionals, but now those same high schoolers are playing with professionals on the daily. I think Itoshi Sei is very easily power crept by using this argument. I might be wrong, but I don't think Itoshi Sei is relevant. And the last thing is how Itoshi Sei interacts with the team. Now, a chemical reaction might happen as seen with Shido, but I believe that one of the reasons that Shido and uh, Itoshi Sei had such a good chemical reaction is because Sei told him exactly what to do. The thing is, Sei is like more of a commander than a uh, than someone who just goes along and does whatever the other person wants. He commands you. However, due to the carefree nature of Barcha players and their explosive dribbling styles, I don't think Sei will be able to form that many chemical chemical reactions and will not have very good chemistry with the team. And chemistry is also an important part of soccer. For example, Nagi and Rayo make such a good duo because of their chemistry. But Sei is very cold-hearted and doesn't doesn't seem like the type of guy who would have chemistry with anyone on the team. Now let me pass it off to Water Dragon to conclude the video. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and make an edit for my 500 sub editing competition if you're interested in that. And Make sure to go and sub to both Fofo Sukiyomi and my best friend Mimba Soji as both of them played big parts in this video. And I hope y'all enjoyed this collab. And if you want to see more of these videos, comment down below. And without any further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.